with the world once again thrown into war, the U.S. 1st Infantry Division is called into service. With regiments dating back to the American Revolution, it is the oldest continuously serving division in the United States Army. Known as the Big Red One for their distinctive arm patch, the fighting first set sail from New York to the United Kingdom in early August 1942 to begin their training for the Second World War. Under the watchful eye of Major General Terry Allen, the division commander, the fighting first was kept busy, preparing for their first taste of combat. Across the sea, British and German armies clash under the scorching heat of the deserts of North Africa. Amidst these hellish conditions, General Bernard Montgomery and his British 8th Army had been able to hold off Rommel's blitzkrieg attacks through a war of attrition. But the deadlock needed to be broken, and the Big Red One, fresh from their training, waited eagerly for their call to action. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and American President Franklin D. Roosevelt, along with General Dwight D. Eisenhower, devised an amphibious assault directed at the Vichy French-held territories of North Africa. Codenamed Operation Torch, the invasion was to start in late October of 1942, with the 1st Infantry Division embarking for the Algerian coast. Unsure if the German-occupied French forces would attack U.S. troops, bright American flag armbands were to be worn as a deterrent. However, this was the least of the Big Red One's worries, as Rommel's battle-hardened Africa Corps were not about to give in to these young American soldiers without a fight. the best pastrami sandwiches you'll ever eat. Brooklyn, you ain't quite right. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like your sister, huh, you friggin' hayseed? Can it, you two! Stay on the ball! This ain't boot camp! Hey, who mad at you? Hey, Sarge, I thought you said the French were gonna surrender. Yeah, Storm in the Beach was fun and all, but I gotta get back. I got tickets to the Yankee games. They're playing the Red Sox, I got box seats. Ah, shut the hell up, Bloomfield. I said, can it! Resistance or not, we got an airfield to secure private. Tell you what, fellas, I'm glad those Frenchies decided to fight back. And for Christ's sake, Kelly, watch where you point that rifle. Try and remember that. It'll keep from blowing the head off the guy next to you. Okay, Sarge. Look at all this sand, guys. I sure ain't in Jersey no more. Well, at least you can be thankful for that. Oh, God! Medic! Private, get on that gun! We got company!
soldier. Take Kelly, Bloomfield, and the rest of the squad and mop up that barracks on the right. I want it squeaky clean. You hear me? Thank you, son. On me. Thank you. 
Get out of there! By surprise, took them both down, single-handed. Tell them, would you? You're full of it, Brooklyn. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you I'm from the Bronx? Just be glad you're not dead. Good work, but this was just a scrub team. Rommel and his boys are gonna be a hell of a lot tougher. Trust me. Okay, let's set up a perimeter ASAP. I don't want to lose this airfield to another counterattack. Now get going. 